Hey, how's it going? Welcome to Rapid Fire Reaper Tutorials. And today I want to show you how to add effects to your tracks and items using a shortcut. It's a pretty quick setup, but will save you tons of time in the long run. So what's not to like? Let's get straight to it. I have this mini project right here. And once I was finished with the composition, I froze all the tracks to get audio with no effects on them. And now I want to do some basic mixing with some plugins. So the first step is to go to view and open your effects browser, or you can hit the hotkey shift and F. For me, that comes docked on the side right here and from this window I can of course select any plugin and drag it to my tracks or items. I can even select multiple tracks and right click and go to add to select the tracks. So this is fine but it's still a few clicks to open the browser, navigate to the right developer slash category and then find the effects you want. So if you find that there are some effects that you add to tracks and items all the time, wouldn't it be a huge time saver if you could insert them without opening this window at all? Well, you could. So as an example, let's do this with re-EQ and it's super easy to do. Just right click on re-EQ and choose create shortcut. You'll see this dialog box. And this is the same as if this were any other action. And I'm gonna use option and Q for mine and then hit enter. I'm gonna replace my previous go to by choosing yes. And hopefully it's clear that this works with any native or third party plugin that is your go to EQ. So now that we did that, I can choose any track and I can hit the shortcut and re EQ is added to it. I can also select multiple tracks and hit the same hotkey. And I can also take one or more items and again, hitting the same hotkey, add re EQ to those. So you can then rinse and repeat this process for other common plugins. Like maybe let's add re -a comp to option and one. So now with option Q and one, I can quickly insert an EQ or compressor or both to any item or track without having to have this window open at all. You can also do this with entire effects chains if you wish. So from the left column, I'm gonna choose effects chains and here are all my effects chains. So for example, I got this effects chain right here that makes stuff sound kind of dreamy. And if I want a hotkey set to this, it's the same procedure, right click, create shortcut. So for your go-to plugins and effects chains, this is definitely the quickest way to insert them. But then there are maybe like a lower tier of plugins that you use only maybe semi-often and it wouldn't be very ergonomic to set shortcuts to these. So another thing we can do is to create actions from these, but instead of setting a hotkey, we can just add those actions to our toolbars or right-click menus. So for example, something like real limit or real delay, I personally don't use often enough to warrant making a shortcut for it, but I can still right click for example on real limit and once again go to create shortcut but this time instead of pressing a shortcut I'm simply going to cancel out of this dialog box. Let's do the same thing for real delay so right click and create shortcut then just cancel out of this dialog box and once again let's do the same for real xcom. So this may seem like a waste of time but actually when we choose create shortcut the first thing Reaper does in the background is create an action for us to insert the desired plugin. So I can now go to my action list and in the filter window type type in insert effects. And you can see these are all the plugins I did the same thing for. And down here we can see real limit, X comp and delay. So even though we canceled out of that dialog box to set a shortcut for these, doing that is essential to create this action. So now I can put these, for example, in a toolbar. So let's go to options and then let's choose customize menus and toolbars, which opens this menu. Let's choose an empty toolbar from the drop down menu up here. I have my toolbar 11 free, so I'm gonna select that. So now I can go back over to my action list and while holding command, I'm gonna click on the actions for rear delay, limit and X comp to select all of them. And then I'll click on select down here and that adds them to this toolbar as we can see. So back in the customize menu, I can right click on them to rename them by choosing text icon. So let's do that for all three. When you rename them, you can also select double width if the text is too long for a square icon. So it'll look like this and you can see the whole word. I can hit save. And now if I right click on any toolbar, I can choose open toolbar, select toolbar 11 and open it. So I can, for example, choose this bus here now and quickly add real limit, or I can choose my percussion bus and add X comp to it. You can set a hotkey to open the toolbar or as I do, you can use contextual toolbars and check the video above to see how I do that. Of course, you can also add icons to these to make them look nicer. So I can right click on any of these down here to open the 
icons we have and I can add a picture icon for them just to make them pretty. And in fact, I've already done this for some of my go-to plugins in another toolbar. So let me show you how that looks. I can pull it up by hitting my contextual toolbar hotkey. So this toolbar, I set up the same way that I just showed you, but I also went and made some icons for them. So again, I can select one or a few tracks and then just click on one of these icons and that'll insert the corresponding plugin here. So I'm just showing you this kind of to tease the next episode where I will show you how to create your own toolbar icons. So consider yourself teased with this toolbar. And I wanted to just get the setup out of the way so that in the next episode, we can just work on creating some cool looking icons. But for now, that's going to be it for today. Thanks for watching. If you like the work I do, you can now become a member of this channel. Thanks to all our current members and see you this Friday with an exclusive video. You can also support the channel with one-time donations through buymeacoffee.com. The link to that will be in the description as well. Thanks to Jan H and Michelle B for your donations. I really appreciate it. Also, someone paid $100 for my last album without leaving a name. Just in case you're one of my viewers, thank you so, so much. You're the real, real MVP. I, I was left speechless when I saw it. Take care of yourselves, everyone, and I'll see you real soon. Bye.